Last week, Boeing reported more promising results from the recently completed latest phase of its Eco Demonstrator program. It was performed over about a week of flying twice a day from a former U.S. Air Force base in Glasgow, Montana, and during individual positioning flights between Seattle's Boeing Field and the company's Dreamliner assembly plant in Charleston, South Carolina. The tests, flown with up to a 50-50 blend of Jet A and sustainable alternative fuel derived from agricultural waste from California, centered on noise mitigation, flight routing optimization, and cabin disinfecting technology. Noise tests involved the use of 200 small microphones attached to the left side of the aircraft's fuselage and 1,000 more listening devices on the ground in Montana. Further testing evaluated the effectiveness of noise-mitigating fairings attached to the 787-10's Saffron landing gear. Finally, engineers tested the effectiveness of a handheld antimicrobial wand using ultraviolet light to kill germs such as COVID-19. Addressing both environmental efficiency and safety, the testing also demonstrated a system meant to more accurately guide flights around hazards, such as storms allowing pilots to better plan their routes and more quickly arrive at their destinations. Eco Demonstrator Program Manager Doug Christensen explained that the routing optimization trials incorporated a system called four-dimensional trajectory optimization and the terminal area management system under development at NASA. The system uses digital signals via satellites that ground personnel send to the flight deck and provide immediate information that now gets communicated via radio transmission or ACARS. Another NASA-developed communications technology tested on the Eco Demonstrator is called the Tailored Arrival Manager, which uses existing airplane and ground-based digital systems to enable more precise approach and arrivals. That capability minimizes the need for holding patterns for landing slots, enables more accurate time of arrival, and reduces noise and emissions, according to Eco Demonstrator Chief Engineer Ray Lutters. Boeing performed a final demonstration of the technology on its return flight from Seattle to Charleston, from where the company planned to fly the 787-10 to Abu Dhabi for delivery to Etihad. The Etihad 787-10 was the seventh test platform used since the start of the Eco Demonstrator program in 2012. Over the eight years of the program, Boeing has managed to apply about a third of all the technologies tested to production airplanes, such as the 737 MAX, 787, and 777X. Thanks for watching this AIN video. Please like, subscribe, and share it if you've enjoyed it. Also, visit AINonline.com for all the latest on the aviation industry.